videos so you can learn how to transfer uh, your monarch or other butterfly. Now this is going to be very hard to do. I'm going to set my phone down. I got my Swiss Army knife and so what you do, you need a tiny pair of scissors like this and you don't grab it by the black part. Be very careful not to touch it. But you want to grab the silk. And so what I do is I mean, the black part's saved, technically, but just be careful. See how I'm getting the silk? And it looks like that kind of released this so I can grab it. So now I got the silk hangs. You see the one in the back I've already done. Some of them are easier than others. These two are really close together. They can kind of take a little bit of pressure, but to, uh, you, you don't want to... You want to do your best not to disturb them, and then be very gentle with it, because if you slip, you basically, uh, well, you kind of fuck it up, and so anyways, I mean, if you slip, you hit the cocoon, and you don't want to do that. So, I got him down, and then once you loosen it enough, so I'm just going to cut a little bit off. It's like surgery, I swear to God, okay. So, now I'm pulling it. See how I'm pulling it? You want to keep it now. I already pre-glued this. I use... I'll show you the can later. So now I got that. See how I've got the silk on it? And then so, what I did here... I went ahead and propped this. You can see the kind of glue I use. You can get it at Home Depot. Um... I don't even know how I'm going to prop this, huh? Let me put this in my lap like this. Okay, so you see the trash can is underneath. I did that so I don't want to drip on the floor. Come around here with your cocoon. And you kind of just wrap that in the glue. I kind of used too much there. I messed up, but this glue, I mean... I read online when your pupa falls off, what do you do? Everyone's like, oh, we use this, this glue. And I end up using the only thing in my garage is this 3M high strength 90 glue. They sell it at Home Depot. Um, and they sell it at Lowe's. So, you basically, in the way the 3M 90 glue works, you spray it. You let it kind of dry up, and then once it dries up, would you look at the amount of poop in there, I swear. Once it dries up, then you want to do it, because that's when it's sticky. So, and you spray it. Okay, it looks like I'm going to get both of these at the same time. I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to rip that, keep the other guy intact. I'm going to come back over here, sorry. So once again... You have your pupa, and let's not drop it in the trash can. Now, I've done this with golf artilleries that were on my passion vine, and I've actually glued the cocoon straight to it, so basically the black part of the cocoon. Um, well, that would be their back legs, and it works fine because that's what stays on. Um, you want to do this once they're in a cocoon, though, if they're hanging upside down. I don't know how strong this stuff is. It could probably kill them. I mean, shoot, the smell's killing me already. So, once again, I'm going to go ahead and rip this off ever so gently. I have a ton of monarchs, as you can see by the amount of shit that's in the container there. Um, but I also am paranoid because I fly bit them, so I don't move them. But once they attach themselves to the lid... Um, you got a problem because now they're on the damn lid and you're like, okay, and I transfer containers every day. So once again, go ahead and move, glue your pupa, and it's always better to just do it like this. As I said, you could probably, you can do the back black part if you want, but I don't recommend doing the black part um, just because it's kind of sensitive. Now in the Gulf Artillery, I'll show you my little... Uh, I got a lot of butterflies coming. So let's go over here. This glue is very strong. I've used it with uh, so it's 
pretty much industrial strength. It's 3M. I'm gonna, I got two habitats going. I got a couple golf fertilities. And then I got a ton of them in there. So, but let me put this one in here. And all that is, is a piece of two by four. And I drilled holes. Uh, some are up, some are straight, and some are down. This was kind of one of the first ones I did because I wasn't expecting too many, but this kind of just blew up. And I, this is a chopstick I'm putting this on. You can use any stick, but this is just a chopstick that my roommate had. You don't want it to shake too much, but once again, that 3M glue strong, and then that silk that they attach themselves with is also very strong stuff. So they don't want to fall off. So now I got three cocoons on one stick. Because as you can see, I'm running out of space. I want to show you something though. So these, I forgot which one it was, but one of them, is it you? See that? Okay, let me focus right there. This is a Gulf artillery. See, they kind of move. Or they do move. So after they have made it in their crystallis, their butt essentially moves. So just be wary of that. I kind of just grab it and I kind of just put it on there um, while his butt's moving. But as long as you keep him upside down and cool, he's good. And then, yeah, so forth. Anyways, as you can see, I got a lot of shit I got to clean up. Thanks for watching.